gray line weapons where people aren't really sure what to classify it as because it uses it, it uses 45 ACP if I remember is a really big bullet but it doesn't it shoots like a shotgun but it shoots rifle ammo you need to increase where things appear yeah, on that wall does it I'll take oh yeah man I have so much cam launcher mods I think I'm just gonna scrap all of them because I don't use cam launcher at all I use cam what I do is I might keep a couple and get the rest of it and even then I just it, get all of it off the time it's just really bad in order. Need of backup. like they, what they need to do is put all the uh, pneumatic slots agitator slots all together like in a row because what I've got is for example let's say a pneumatic slot with plus four ammo then I have to go down to the other pneumatic ones to see if there's one with more plus ammo but then on the way I have an agitator slot on the way it's like eh here I find an agitator slot with plus five ammo. Okay, great. It's just so badly organized. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna scrap all of them. I don't use chem launcher at all. Shield. Deflector accuracy. Yeah, that's one one bad thing. The, the accuracy on the deflector is pretty bad. Is it? Yeah, it goes all over the place. Uh, shield, I'm gonna delete all of that. I don't use shield. Plus, you can craft mods if you really want a specific. You can start crafting and RNG. The drone ones, I got lots of drone ones, but I need to figure out what to keep. Drone, I'm mostly gonna use this Bombardier. Oh, that's not, not good at the moment, I've got ignited. Um, bit of accuracy, that's blind. I can always change that for. did that now haven't they well where, where you can yeah you can select the mods you want to keep and not keep through uh going like to your skills and then scrolling through them you can actually select through the menu and just press b and it will automatically select it to scrap the that's not bad that you Three extra bombs if needed. Blast radius keeps health as well. Yeah, that's it. Plus three. 1709. Plus three is 1505. Plus three. <laughs> There's this as well. You got plus three extra bombs with skill power requirements 2212. Now I got one that is also plus three, but it's 1654. Hmm. <laughs> so you gotta watch that too it's like some mods can have the same skill haste as the other but then have a lot lower skill requirement another seven, another blast radius in there yeah gold mad bomber <laughs> yeah that's the um where the nade yeah wider right I've got one here that says uh, restorative plus 30% health and destructive plus 40% explosive damage. Yep. That's the one I use, destructive. And 
And that explosive damage also increases the damage of your grenades. Anything explosive, honestly. Even the the new ability for the new class as well increases that damage too. Alright, seekers. What have I got new for you? Take ninety percent more damage when I lose mind. Oh, I got a plus five plus the mind. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I got a total of fourteen mind. Now they do 610,000. Alright. Pretty much got every talent that a skill build with, well, at least explosive build would need. Which is skill duration 50%, damage to weight 25, 40% damage, explosive damage, 20% skill power. And then the rest are just like active while doing something in combat. And then, for example, if you're going for tanky, you would, like, use vital, which is, like, 20% more health, I think. I think armor's slightly better uh, than health. Yeah, well, Hardened. Okay. Yeah, but remember, everything's unique now. So you can have one of each on every piece. That's kind of what you're, what they're trying to make you do. Yeah, well, what I'm trying to do, because health isn't as important, I stack all the armor stuff, and instead of having a health one, I might do things like damage to elite. Help. Oh, yeah. Offensive. But for uh, that's what I mean. For example, I don't really need skill duration, but it's still a passive that I can use on a piece, even if you know I'd rather have it than not have it. Makes sense. So if you have uh, a piece that doesn't have or normally is capable of having a passive talent, and you're not rolling it, you're kind of like, I don't know, you might as well have it than mm. not. Because you could have, for example, 25% health on the chest and the 15% armor on the backpack. 25% damage to elite on the mask. Uh, what other passive could you use as tankier build? I mean, you, well, because you're rolling tanky, you might as well get the 5% uh, the weapon damage on holster, for example, or knee pads. Mm. Where, because that's where you're losing damage. Because you're you're mostly going for tanky stuff, so you kind of need to regain damage on on that department. Yeah, that's why I was having a look how things kind of pull at the moment, and then from there altering and, and changing. Yeah, I think I'll switch back to tech tech. What is it? Technician. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. tactician, but I think it, was it, it was it was tactician in Division One, so it's kind of like. Eh. J just to level it up so I can have some... Yeah, it's technician, it's not tactic. So how much skill power do I have in this? Ooh, wow. Okay. The drone's got 6,000 skill power. Because of the set. Hey, that's what I needed to do. I need, I need to get rid of one piece, either chest, backpack, or gloves from this set. So I can benefit from a first bonus from another set somewhere uh, oh god I got body armor why 
I mean, I could go for rifle damage, because that's what I mostly use. Yeah, I do need to start going through a lot of stuff, because as much as I've got the talents I want, a lot of the armor is sometimes lacking on weapon damage I'm not using. Yeah. That's why I need to try and min max. So I, I'm, I'm getting, you know, the most sort of damage on the weapons that you can, rather than, you know, having explosive damage or rifle damage and I'm not using the rifle. Exactly. Like SMG. It's like I'm happy with the talents and the build and what I do. I just need to focus on getting the gear one, especially seeing as I can now just transfer that over using the calibration. And and pay attention to the bot slots as well. Because hmm. if you're going for more tanky, make sure that you have like you could see I don't know the perfect stats, but then if or tributes, and then you go down to mods, and it's like two offensive mods, and you're yeah. like, because uh. the defensive one can have something like five percent total armor. Hmm. Let's see, this one is explosive damage, which I could. Oh, this is actually what I need. Hold up. Yeah, I need an anchor one. So, uh, the Providence defense, because that comes with 10% skill power. Problem is, is, if you've not got a unique talent on it, you can't put a unique talent on something. It has to be swapped. Yeah. Like, I've got a mask here that's your damage to elite, then to armor and kills, stuff like that. But, uh... So Ooh. I only have that chest piece in the bank. This will knock down my armor a little bit, but it takes you from bolt rifle down. Oh, I think I can complete the build. I'll lose some. Um, wait, that's 580 skill power. Damage so total on. Also has armor. Pop out skills or something. But that one was that one's that bonuses are you know rifled armor, total arm, rifle damage, rifle damage. I was and I was doing it. Yeah, it, it's it's mostly been finding pieces that either I don't plan on using or you know. Is he finding that perfect set? Isn't it? But you know, you think about it. A set has you know the the brand set. Yeah. Also got attributes and the talents too for example if, if i really want what, what i could do is carry for example just two pieces of the the hardwired to get 20 percent skill power but i need to find i mean I, I could use the chess piece for this hardwired it's pretty decent all i have to do is re-roll a higher skill power mod on it and uh, it has utility mod and defensive slot on it so it's actually perfect for what i need it's a good replacement for the body armor because the set the one yeah just carrying one gives me 10 percent but now i need to be careful where i already had yeah so dang i could end up exactly the same <laughs> it's, it's so weird so I carry two pieces of one set, which gives me the second bonus for 10%. But if I carry, uh, I end up with exactly the same bonus. It's just that normally the tier sets, I think, have higher base armor. I don't know what they have, actually. I mean, there, there is one mod slot of each, which is handy. 
What like I said, you could literally spend right? hours doing it. And the thing is about it is you can only change. How does the the changes change a lot of stuff, or does it only? You only have a certain amount you, of things you can do, like a, a bar or something. No, you can literally now change. If you don't like armor on a piece, you can literally re-roll it for whatever. You can no. do weapon damage, skill power. No, I didn't mean uh, that. I meant how many times. Oh, just, uh, once. just once. Yeah. But the cost increases every time you re-roll. On that one, that piece, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know you can... But the good thing about it, you've got, like, perfect piece. But one thing's wrong. You can change that one thing. Yeah. But if you've got... A really good piece. Four things are wrong. I'm only going to change one of them. Mm -hmm. That's that's what could spend hours. So I'm not going to do it. I just I actually check everything in my stash for the game. Then like at the end of it all, I might mess with it all. Well, I just realised that that uh, hardwired thing is that I'd lose important talents from the other stuff. So yeah, it's not even carrying two pieces is not worth it. So I'm just going to scrap it. And use it. To damage to elites for the current armor piece set. So now, I actually have, I'm not min-max, but I have, I could say 80% what I want. It's just that now it's just about minute numbers. Yeah, for me. Getting the exact, now, now it's just getting the exact same chest piece, just with, instead of headshot damage, something like armor or health that helps me stay alive longer. Yeah. For me, I'm, I'm a bit behind you. I've got the talents I ideally want, the unique talents, but I need to constantly try and get more gear because, you know, I might have one with a good attributes, a good talent, but, you know, it, it's giving me, you know, rifle damage, giving yeah. me SMG if I've got pieces of it and it's like I'm not using those weapons. I'm using a shotgun and an, and an AR. Then, but then again, this is from from doing a lot of research. The two the two kind of specs that probably the what I want to do as a kind of beat shield either be LMG and an SMG or an AR and a shotgun. Because an AR can do what an SMG does, but a longer range. Yeah. And the shotgun is is pretty deadly at very close range. And I prefer using those two compared to using the LMG and the SMG. But, you know. What the hell did that just do? <laughs> what, what did you just do? Press tab and it just unequipped. Oh, it tab does strip the slots. Okay, that's a weird way of... Yeah, do you, if you're looking at the mods, it says at the bottom, yeah, tab it will strip it. That's how I do it to... Normally, tab is like deconstruct junk, but okay. I've seen the modifier mastery version of um, Henley. Yeah, so now my drone's got 6,244 skill power. My seeker mine is 5,787, but that's in this the other build. Obviously, I go from 88% explosive damage to... Or is it 84? Something like that. Hmm. To 60%. So obviously I lose a lot of explosive damage. It's going to take a while to get kind of bond because it's randomized when you unloot drop. That's it's like a, even the exotics, you're going to get the same things, but the act yeah. actual damage or the actual percentage changes. I like how when it's all orange, that's max you can get, I believe. Like, if you get a piece and it's got 25% handling on it, if you find a piece that says 30% handling, it'd be an orange. That's the maximum you can get on a, on a piece. Yeah. So at least you kind of know when you picked an item up that you say you're looking for hardened for, for, for me. That is a maximum hardened. I could have found one that's better than in, in that one attribute. 10,000 microelectro booster drones that expend themselves to increase allied skills efficiency and re the duration so yeah that's just good for uh, um, people with drones and stuff that you can <laughs> help them out but yeah it's like it's not handy with my seeker mind having that hide because my seeker mind sure it's active 
during the moment that I throw it. As I expend themselves to increase ally skills efficiency. Oh, refresh their duration. Efficiency? What? Pulse resistance? That's such a PvP thing. Right. Technomancy equipping a skill grants 15% bonus armor when the skill dies, recover 20%. I mean, that makes me a little more tankier, but yeah. You are now group leader. Alright, let me upgrade that. 71 out of 165. I do forward slash accept would that work <laughs> no uh. okay we're gonna, we're gonna do the member has joined your team. dailies i don't know daily yeah. three do a quick bathroom break be right back we are back everybody This is how the, the skin looks on the, uh, the little shuttle launcher. You can get a shuttle launcher. Yeah, if you do the whole... Um, so it kind of, like, like I said, it kind of looks like a launched NASA rocket. Low prices, big selections. That's what I've got. 
Like I said, I'm still like halfway through. Yeah. I just noticed that this backpack for this set, or at least because they randomize, it's got like USB cables running through the top of it. Where the heck is it going? Wait, where's that cable going? You could probably go on your shoulder piece, mate. Probably. I mean, it looks like... I don't know, it's probably connected to something in the bag. But yeah, I think I've got my set complete. I got 20% skill power from the whole set, so 40% haste. I mean, 20%. But I do have haste somewhere on the gear. 10% explosive, 15% drone skill power. The one thing that surprised me is there's no set that increases Seeker Mind damage or Seeker Mind skill power. Let's enjoy some trade sense and maybe go to the um, Washington. I don't know why. Mark. Is that the daily? Um, Jefferson. In hard, I guess. What I found weird is I clicked on track it. Put me to go to hotel. I'm like, no. Shade node. Isaac has the location. Yeah, the do that. I got more damage, but they throw less seekers. Yeah, I'm losing like 40k damage. That's alright. Not too much of a damage loss. Ooh, but that arc, ooh, that went down real quick. Yeah, I don't have a lot. Seekers, less damage, or more damage, less seekers. Well, the more seekers probably help a more sustained battle. We're under but, attack! You know. Intruders at the east entrance! And then kill them! What the fuck? Using Look for a way down to the garage and see if you can pick up Espinosa's trail. He tends to leave a mess. For, uh, seeker mine damage? 